Did you know? The charm of the Weiribo traditional village on Flores Island. Have you ever heard of the Weiribo traditional village located in Mangarai Regency on Flores Island, East Nisatangara? This tourist village has received the top award of excellence from UNESCO in the 2012 UNESCO Asia Pacific Heritage Awards, which was announced in Bangkok on August 27, 2012. I'm curious, right unique in the Weiribo traditional village Weiribo is a small traditional village located far from urban areas. This village is located around 1,100 meters above sea level and to visit it, it takes around three to four hours to travel on foot from Denga village. This village is surrounded by beautiful mountains and the Toto forest which is shady and rich in vegetation. In this forest, you can find orchids, various types of ferns, and hear the melodious chirping of various birds which makes the atmosphere even more cheerful. It should be noted, there is no cell coverage in this village, and electricity is only available from 6 to 10 p.m. The air is also relatively cold, especially in the dry season. So, if you want to visit the Weiribo traditional village, don't forget to bring a jacket. The founder of Weiribo village was a man named M. Pumaro. He built the village about 100 years ago and then preserved it by local residents until now reaching the 18th generation of descendants. One of the things that is unique and characteristic of Weiribo is the Mbaruniang traditional house which is tall and cone-shaped and covered in palm thatch from the roof to the ground. Mbaruniang's house has five levels, where each level is designed for a specific purpose. The first level, called the Lutur or tent, is where the extended family lives. The second level, called the Lobo or attic, was devoted to storing food and goods. The third level, called lender, is where seeds are stored for the next planting season. The fourth level, called lempere, is to store food supplies in case of drought. Finally, the fifth and top level called the hikankode, also considered the most sacred, is a place of offerings for the ancestors. Well, there is a house specifically for ritual purposes for the people of the Weiribo traditional village. The majority of local residents in this village are Catholic but still adhere to old beliefs. In this house there are sacred heirlooms in the form of drums and gongs. With a small population of around 1,200 people, this village consists of seven houses. The staple foods of the villagers are cassava and corn. However, Around the village they also grow coffee, vanilla, and cinnamon which they sell at the market located about 15 km from the village. Recently, Weiribo traditional village has become increasingly popular as a tourist destination for domestic and foreign ecotourism lovers. This of course also adds to the economic welfare of the village. If you want to visit the Weiribo traditional village, you can set the starting point for your trip from Komodo Airport which is located in Labuan Bajo. Next, leave for Rutang City. There are several transportation options such as taking a travel car or renting a private car. After a 3-4 to four hour journey, the journey continues by motorbike taxi for 3-4 to four hours to Denga, the last village before finally heading to the Weiribo traditional village. If you are curious to come directly and experience a simple traditional life far from the hustle and bustle of the city, the people of Weiribo traditional village will certainly warmly welcome you.